Well, we're just a few weeks away now from an election that could have a major impact on our state's constitution. In fact, Abby Forbes spoke with voters and experts about the loan issue, which is on this special election August ballot. And Abby, what were you able to learn? Yeah, so early voting for this issue started on July 11th, and I'm told that there has already been a significant turnout. Judy Bell is one of 1,809 people who has already voted early in person at the Montgomery County Board of Elections on Issue 1. If you get it out of the way on a nice day like today, you know, it's just that way you can sit and watch the news and see whether your vote counted or not. And it, it will count with this. Issue 1 is a proposed constitutional amendment that is aimed at raising the amount of the majority needed to pass constitutional amendments in the future. I sat down with a professor from Cedarville University to break down exactly what this means if passed. Right now it's 50 plus 1 percent, whatever that means. It could be 50 voters plus 1, it could be 1,000 voters plus 1, whatever. Uh, 50 plus 1 percent, and it's this amendment seeks to raise that to 60 percent needed to, to pass the constitutional amendment. If it is passed, it should make it harder to pass future constitutional amendments. If it is not passed, then future constitutional amendments will continue to be voted on simple majority. This issue is being voted on at the special election on August 8th, but there is also the option to vote early. One way to do this is to mail in your vote. I am told 3,127 absentee ballots have been processed in Montgomery County so far, and there's different ways to do so. You can't um, request it online, but you, the, um, the form is online. You can fill it out and print it and then mail it in or drop it off. Or you can also vote early in person like Bell has. She said the process was rather easy and fast. And they just gave me this thing and I went around and, and stuck it in the machine, answered my question, and then I just brought it back up and put it in the other machine and I was done. So and I got my button to show everybody that I voted. It's very important. Experts stress the importance of educating yourself on the issue at hand before voting as well. Now you can find the actual text of this issue one on the state's website, which is linked in the web version of this story on Dayton247now.com. And we'll continue to keep you updated on this issue on air and online. Back to you. Abby, thank